Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to take our first look at the new Chromecast and Chromecast Audio. So let's get into it. The packaging for each device is practically identical. For now, let's take a closer look at the all-new Chromecast. The new Chromecast has been updated both internally and externally. Even the packaging from this year's compared to last year's Chromecast has changed quite a bit. Pulling off the tab and easily getting inside the box, you will find the new Chromecast dongle sitting right on top. I opted to go with one of the new colors, this being the coral color. On camera, it looks red, but in person, it's almost a burnt orange or borderline reddish pink color. It's a weird, but definitely cool color. You can also choose from a lemonade yellow or a classic black if you wish. The new Chromecast is still only $35, so you won't be getting anything else inside the box except for your micro USB cable and power adapter. This year's Chromecast is definitely more sleek than last year's model. Opting to go with a round looking device with a glossy and vibrant front and a matte finish on the back. There's only one button and one micro USB port on the Chromecast and they are all located near the bottom. The HDMI cable is attached to the device and can be tucked away via the magnetic backing of the Chromecast and in the cable. Setting it up is still just as simple as it was before. Simply plug in your USB cable and then plug the HDMI into your TV. Make sure you have the all-new Chromecast app downloaded to your Android or iOS device and follow the on-screen instructions. This should only take a few minutes to set up. The update to the app is probably my favorite part of the new Chromecast experience. The integrated search function lets you find a show to watch and will point you in the direction where you can find it. For this example, I wanted to watch The League. Simply type in the name of the show and the app will bring up where you can watch it. Since I have a Hulu and Netflix subscription, these are the two choices in which I can watch it. Tap on watch and it will immediately open up the corresponding app and take you right into the show. The only gripe I have with this is that it actually has to leave the Chromecast app and go into the Netflix app and doesn't play directly from the Chromecast app, but unfortunately there just isn't any other way to do it. Everything seems to be pretty fast too and the app also gives you suggestions on what to watch next or what else is trending on YouTube. Jumping into the box for the Chromecast audio, you're going to find similar contents in a similar box. This time, being that this is an audio device, you will get a small 3.5mm to 3.5mm cord along with your micro USB cord and power adapter. The Chromecast audio looks almost identical to the new Chromecast, but this takes on more of a vinyl record approach and feel with the design on the front. It only comes in one color and there are no attached cables. Other than that, it functions the exact same way using the same Chromecast app. Setup is simple too. I plugged in the Chromecast audio device into the 3.5mm cord that I already have on the back of my M-Audio speakers. Then, just like the Chromecast, I went under the devices tab and my Chromecast audio was immediately detected. A couple of minutes through the same setup process and you're all set. Now some of you might think, why should I spend $35 on something like this Chromecast audio when I already have a Bluetooth speaker? Well, the Chromecast audio, for one, doesn't connect via Bluetooth, but instead uses Wi-Fi. So the quality of your sound is going to be amazing and it won't drain your battery so quickly. Also, you can continue to use your phone and do other things with your phone, like watch a video perhaps, while your music is playing without it being interrupted. The best part, however, is that this will work with any speaker system that has a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is pretty much most speakers. Once you go into the app that you want to play, in this case using Spotify, just tap on a song. Then make sure you change the available devices to the Google Audio or Chromecast Audio setting. It's really simple, really great option to turn any speaker in your house into a wireless speaker system. I will highlight more features in my full review for both devices, but for now I wanted to just touch on some of the basics. If there is something specific that you want to see in my full review, please leave a comment below letting me know. Also, please be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss videos like this one or other videos that I might have in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.